Greetings and salutations kitties. I am your humble host Steve and I'm here with a movie review today. I'm interested in talking about Dance With Me Henry, the, the final collaboration between Bud Abbott and Luke Costello. And generally speaking, when you see a comedy team at the end of their run, that those last few movies are, are, are pretty sad and, and not in a good way. Um, I think primarily of Laurel and Hardy's Utopia or Atoll K, whatever the name of the movie you might have seen was. I haven't seen that movie for years. It just it just hurts. It hurts thinking about it. I think of some of the, the later Marx Brothers films where they were making them primarily because Chico needed the money and nobody really else. He was just trying to help their brother out. And they're not bad, but they're really not good either. They have their moments, and, and then beyond that... I was expecting that with Dance With Me Henry, getting it primarily just because it was another slot I needed in, in the collection, having had the, the complete collections, the universal box sets that they came out with a few years ago, this being from a different studio. And I didn't get that. I actually got quite a cute little movie, rather. Uh, uh, Lou plays Mr. Henry. He's, he runs a amusement park. I wouldn't say theme park. It looks like it's on a little patch of a uh, vacant lot where he's got a couple of carny rides up, but it's it's well intended. He's he comes across as the very sweet man that you would expect the Lou Costello character to generally speaking be. He's adopted two children. Uh, one's a teenage girl and uh, her younger brother. He's desperately trying to keep uh, them because the the local uh, individual in the area. Uh, I think they referred to her as being in charge of the welfare board, but I'm not sure that that's necessarily accurate. Uh, doesn't feel that he's providing a good home, that he's not around enough, and, and etc. He's not married. And he also hangs around with, with Bud Flick, his buddy, who's known for having a gambling past that he claims to be desperately trying to get out of. And, and indeed, probably Bud is. But he's got so much debt backed up to gangsters that they are keen to get the money out of him, the $20,000 he owes, and otherwise they're going to put him to work uh, doing nefarious things, no doubt. And the movie is, uh, moves from there. It moves rather quickly. There's not a whole lot of dead space in it, in, in my opinion. There's there's the gags in the home and, and sequences with Bud and Lou. Not a whole lot of Bud and Lou, oddly enough. It's almost a Lou Costello film that uh, Bud appears in at times. Uh, that said, when they're both on screen at the same time, uh, they're Bud and Lou. They're doing the little verbal shtick back and forth, trying to, you know, logically defeat each other and failing and, and that sort of thing. And you have gangsters, you know, the, it's actually, uh, the gangsters are pretty mean in this for what, apparent, you know, beyond that is a kid movie. Uh, because he is very sweet, you know, he's looking at adopting more kids, he's this real nice guy and everything. And then you've got you know, gangsters in the area that at one point they, they they stumble upon the main gangster guy or the one gangster guy is going to meet Bud at the same place where Lou is trying to meet the district attorney to you know to tattle on these gangsters and everything and they bump into each other in the dark and the district attorney gets shot to death and it's like oh you know, when the gun goes off I'm like oh he's just gonna be hurt or something like that no he's dead uh, and it just they're they're very vicious gangsters for being in this otherwise it's it, there's a, a violent streak in it that gives it a very dark edge uh but that said it was a like i said it was a very it kept moving it, it, at a good pace it was funny and still very sweet and, and not the uh the dregs the, you know complete dregs at least that one might expect from a comedy team running at the you know that's been running for decades on their last legs it was it was a good solid movie I would recommend watching it uh, especially if you're a Abbott Costello fan otherwise it's like I said it's a cute movie I don't think it would necessarily appeal to the average viewer that doesn't have the interest in you know, that's gonna uh, in, in older comedy teams in a black and white film in that it is despite the dark edge primarily uh, an innocent family film at the time I probably think it would have been considered normal entertainment now it'd be surprisingly uh, violent in that regard, but beyond that, uh, a good movie, and I would recommend it, just I don't think everyone would have the interest in it that I did. Thank you.